Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. For today's video, I'm back with another stock talk video. And for today's stock talk video, we're going to be talking about the top three cruise line stocks I want you guys to be watching out for right now with the recent dip that is happening in the overall market. Wow, that was a really long title of the video. But yes, that's what we're going to be talking about today are the top three cruise line stocks. Before we begin, I do want to mention a few things. One is which is going to be uncut video. So I'm just going to be going through, probably going to stutter over, stu there we go, stutter over my words. Um, and whatever we're going to talk about today, I'm going to go through pretty fairly quickly at least uh, to kind of just get the information out to you guys it is going to be the top three cruise line stocks that I see as being a good buy the dip opportunity for the long term okay long term buys here also click the links down below in the description to join my discord server also follow me on my tiktok account and if you're interested subscribe here on youtube channel for more in-depth videos Let's get into it with our first stock on the list, which is ticker symbol CCL, Carnival Cruise Lines, okay? Carnival Cruise Lines is one of those stocks, like basically every other stock though, that <laughs> fell due to the COVID pandemic. We were trading on this $45, even $50 area before the pandemic, and then once the pandemic hit, the stock completely fell to the downside, um, got destroyed all the way down to single digits, okay? $7 where we were trading at all-time lows here before bouncing and throughout 2020 it was a basically it was a flat year i mean we did get a quick bounce here but for the most part not much happened till the end of 2020 when we finally crossed over this 180 day SMA line that was our price strength that really caused us to really get going with the stock and had us bounce from this area around 15 dollars rally all the way up and double to 30 dollars okay the stock though still had a lot of upside and i thought even in the mid 20s you could still buy here if you weren't in the position quite yet but the stock then hit $30, couldn't break through, and now we've got a nice pullback. And a nice pullback did we ever. We're currently trading around this $19 area again, which is another area that I want to keep watching and see if we can hold. The next area I'd want to watch would be this $15 or $18 area. So the next area I'm going to watch is $18 if we can't hold here. But I think that if you're not in the position yet, I think starting a position at $19, even $20 is a great deal. You're getting a good deal for a long-term Carnival Cruise Line stock to be a hold, to be able to hold a uh, Cruise Line type stock like Carnival. I I think this is a great deal at $20. Again, we'll go through our risk reward ratio for each stock really quick and we can map this out. So basically, to highs before the pandemic, we have about 160% of upside, roughly. Now, to lows where we were during the pandemic, which I don't see us getting back to that area, about 56, 55% of downside. I don't see us getting back to the single digits, but I do see us potentially staying around this higher teens, lower 20s area, which is only about eight or 9% of downside from here. So really, when you're taking the, when you're thinking it like that, if you're going long term, I say that buying a dip down here after this massive pullback of almost 30, 37% of a pullback right now, uh, just off of the past couple months, um, it's been a nasty pullback. And I think this is one of those opportunities where you start buying some shares of Carnival just because of how much upside it has in the long term. So like our next stock on the list, we're going to be going over, let me pull it up over here, is ticker symbol RCL, which is Royal Caribbean, another one of my favorite long-term stocks to be holding in the cruise line sector. Now, this one was a little bit different of a pattern. Yes, it did get beat down and got beat down like crazy from basically this $120, $130 area all the way down to the teens. It actually touched $19, so I was shocked at Held down this area for a little while was choppy like Carnival, but instead of Carnival having that kind of just choppy rest of the year, Royal Caribbean took off, okay? And we'll zoom in on here. We can see the Royal Caribbean was a nice uptrender throughout all of 2020 and into early 2021. This thing rallied from low $20 all the way up to $95. Um, this was a crazy mover. I like Royal Caribbean as one of my top favorite long-term stocks to get into for the cruise line sector. Royal Caribbean is definitely a buy the dip down here, trading back below seventy dollars. Um, Royal Caribbean, I didn't think I would ever see six. I would, I never thought I would see it back below seventy dollars. But here we are, trading back below the seventy dollar area, which was support, broke through the today, and you know what? I think with it being down almost five percent. With how much upside we have, we can take into consideration here. Back to, I'll even go a little bit lower than all-time highs before the pandemic. Um, we have about, what is it, 84, 85% of upside. Now, we do have a lot of downside to previous lows where we were during the pandemic, but again, I don't think we're going to pull back that much, okay? Obviously, there's a lot of scares out there right now with the COVID variant being talked about, and there's a whole bunch of just information that's causing this stock and many other stocks to pull back along with the COVID variant and a lot of just overwhelming hype in the overall market that's been going on for so long. A lot of these stocks are pulling back. But I do see that Royal Caribbean being a good deal down here around $70. I think you can start a small position if you're not in it already. But even if you are in it and you're down on the stock, average down. Don't It doesn't hurt to average down a plays that you actually believe in for the long term. Just make sure that you actually have a long term outlook on these plays and understand what you're getting into and what you're investing into. Royal Caribbean is our second stock on the list. And our final stock is ticker symbol NCHL. Just kidding, it's NCLH. Um, 
which is Norwegian Cruise Lines. Um, Norwegian Cruise Lines is yet again another one of my favorite stocks to get into for the long term. Um, cruise Line stocks are great, and I think that Nor Norwegian is definitely a winner within this sector. Norwegian was trading in the mid-50s before the pandemic dropped all the way to single digits. It was a huge drop by the stock, and the stock was more of a, uh, was like Carnival, how it was basically flat throughout most of the year, had a couple big spikes here and there, but it didn't start moving until it crossed over the 180 day SMA line. That's why I love it so much. I love following this 180 day SMA line. Once it crossed over, it started to rally and did it ever. It jumped from about $16, $17 all the way to highs close to $32, $33. So this was a strong mover towards the second half of 2020 and early 2021 before having this huge pullback. Yet again, another stock that off of where we were just trading about a month ago is down about 35%. So I see this as being a great buy in the dip opportunity for this stock. Again, if you're not in this stock, I would look to potentially get into it. But again, do your own research. It's trading back at 20 bucks, which I think is a complete steal for Norwegian, especially how much upside it still has to where we were trading prior to pandemic levels. So that was my top three stocks of the cruise line sector to get into right now. Obviously, like I said, a lot of these stocks have fallen in the overall sector because of the COVID variant talk. And overall, the market hasn't been doing so hot lately. So I think it's a great idea to pick up some of these stocks because yeah, Yet again, they haven't fallen because of specific company news, but because of overall sector news. And when it's overall sector news, I like to buy the dips on those type of plays that I believe in for the long term. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.